Hey guys, it's Matt with another shaving video. And uh, today I'm going to be doing like a hybrid shave, uh, like my last video, uh, straight razor on the top, uh, safety razor on the bottom. Uh, as I still, I'm still getting used to my straight razor, so I don't want to jump into the neck yet until I uh, get a little more comfortable. Uh, today I'll be using um, Katie's Bubbles LPV uh, La Piment de la Vie or The Spice of Life. I've used it a couple times uh, already. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, easy to lather. Um, pretty well regarded in the shaving community. So yeah, let's get shaving. Just add a little moisture to my face. And uh, I'm going to go with the uh, Mickey Lee pre-shave butter today. And uh, if you watched my first time uh, using this, uh, it shows you it was kind of hard, but it's really like uh, softened up a lot. And it's like a cream. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing because when I received it in the mail, it was it was just like snowing outside. So <laughs> probably should have put two and two together there, but it was probably sort of frozen. But it's softened up now, and it's really easy to uh, apply. And I'm still really liking this the fantastic smell. Very slick. It's it's really some of my favorite stuff I've ever tried. Yes, I rec I recommend that for sure. I made this little uh, blade bank here that I show you guys. Uh, it's just a spaghetti sauce jar wrapped it in duct tape. So, God forbid, a drop it or something. At least it'll contain some of the razor blades. I just took like a, a knife and made a little slot in there. And uh, yeah, works pretty nice. Uh, should make it easier to dispose of my blades. So I'm using my uh, Omega S synthetic brush. And again, Katie's Bubbles. Uh, it's got like a tan color to it. It's a very interesting smell to the soap. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's it's a nice smell. Just uh, grab some here on the brush. It turns into this paste pretty quick. That's probably enough. I don't know if you can see really. Captain's Choice Bowl here. No trouble lathering. I'd say that's probably enough. Again, I'm using my uh, 6 8 uh, Mag Bell JG Dot Straight Razor. Let's see how it goes. Uh, as you can see, I stayed a little bit above my beard line. Uh, that's because I'm actually trying to uh, uh, raise my beard line up a little bit. I went down a little too far recently. Now, here's the one thing about straight razors. I don't. I find in order to get it, get everything the way I like, I pretty much have to hold it however I want to, instead of you know always doing it the holding it the proper way. If there is such a thing, I don't know. But I sort of have to just. You know, just hold it however in order to, you know, get around here. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, the wrong way to do it. I don't know. It works, though.
can see I just puff out my cheek there and clean up around the mustache area. Yeah. Left hand, non dominant hand, a little slower. Keep an eye on my sideburn line there. Just trying to make sure both sides are even. As you can see, I'm just holding in this in this strange position, but I don't I don't really see it making any any real difference. You know which way I hold it, as long as you're cautious about the angle, and you know you're not holding it so lightly that you could. Pause, but drop it. All right, so that looks pretty, pretty even. Got soap in my beard here, so it might make it look off, but it's pretty even. Uh, all right, so, right, so put this down for a second. We'll do another pass with it on the cheeks. Uh, soap's still looking good, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit more. <clears throat> put a tiny bit of water. Once again, the uh, Icon 102. Fresh Persona blade. And I've actually been testing out uh, just forgetting about with the grain pass because it's so it's so difficult for me to go sideways that I end up irritating my neck. So I'm just gonna go straight to uh, cross the grain, and then I'll go cross the grain in the opposite direction on the second pass. So you know it's it's whatever works for you. You know do what works for you, but. For me, I get irritation trying to go this way because I'm like sawing at it. The angle's difficult. So yeah, just going straight down is obviously simpler. All right, so first pass, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, feeling. Pretty, uh, pretty close actually. Um, yeah, still gonna do a second pass, but uh, going straight across the grain with that slant, it really gets you closer, faster. Hmm. Makes me wonder if I should even go over it again on my neck. Hmm. I might just do a cleanup pass on my neck because I'm telling you, it feels. Pretty nice. Uh, only had two days of facial hair, facial hair growth. I think I might leave it at that, you know. 
That'd be the first time I did a one pass on a Nick. Of course, this Adam's apple area always needs a little cleanup. So I'm working on my stropping technique. It's a little more difficult than you think it'll be, you know? I think the first time that I stropped it, the razor, uh, I think I actually made it more dull. <laughs> So it definitely wasn't doing something right. And then I uh, worked at it a little more and watched a few more videos and then and I think it got a little sharper again. I don't know. It's still cutting the hair and everything. But I think I have dulled it slightly from when I received it. Just from being such a noob with a strop. So across the grain I'm just going to hold it like this. I mean I'm not I've got a firm hold on it, you know, I'm not going to drop it or anything. Knock on wood. I'm sure somebody out there is cringing at my technique. Yeah. I think that's how you have to do it, right? I mean. If you're going to line up something, you're going to have to, you know, maneuver the blade around. I mean, I know I've seen a lot of videos where the, the person holds it like this the whole time and they're just, you know, doing all of this and, I don't know, I think it's just easier to, you know, hold it differently. See that? I just touched the blade to my nose for just a split second. <laughs> Almost cut my nose. <laughs> you, you gotta watch what you're doing and pay attention to this thing. That was a close call. I think I actually touched it with like the, like right here on the butt, the non sharp part. That would not have been pretty. I think, I think that's good for my face, as you can see. It's nice and lined up, good enough to my liking. Uh, yeah, not too hard to use, uh, not too intimidating. Uh, with my neck, that's another story. I, I did give it a shot just a little bit, not too long ago, and uh, I don't know, it feels like the blade's not sharp enough when I'm using it on my neck. Uh, maybe that's because my poor strapping or just, you know, poor angle, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of clean up on the neck, call it a day. All right, so I'm gonna rinse off.
All right. So I'm just gonna keep it simple today and go with the uh, Nivea uh, post bomb sensitive. So this stuff's pretty simple. Not a lot to it. You know, light scent. Just want to uh, reduce chances of irritation. You know when you're experimenting all the time and trying new soaps every day and new aftershaves every day. Your skin at some point is just gonna become angry with you. You're gonna find some ingredient out there that just doesn't play nice with your face. And then you have to sort of figure out what it what it was and go back to basics. That's uh yeah. Pretty nice shave, I'm happy with that. Um, so the Katie's Bubbles uh, LPV La, La, La Pamint de la V. Um, good stuff, lathers easy, uh, it's very dense. Uh, it lasts a long time, you know, it just stays in the brush. It, you know, it's what can I say about it? It's it's a nice soap. You get a lot of it. I think uh, yeah, eight ounces. Uh, I think it's twenty bucks. Uh, probably last you six months if you used it exclusively. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that that probably varies. Um, but yeah, I recommend it. It's good stuff. You know, use whatever you like. I'm not here trying to push products. I'm just trying things for myself. So yeah. I'm gonna keep at it with the straight razor and uh, see how that goes. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.